Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 7 of the Scramble Podcast. We are back after Cam's rebirth, revenge, resurrection, resurrection week. We got a great show for you guys this week. I'm joined here by uh, the man who put up some units this week. Cam, tell me how you're doing. I'm doing great. Last week I was not doing great. Historically horrible week. You were down bad. Down bad. <laughs> but I said, I called it, I'm going to rise from the dead. And I might be all the way up in heaven right the now. Undertaker <laughs> gif. Undertaker gif. Yeah. Oh, Rising out of the coffin. Right out. And I, What was his tombstone? Yeah. Tomb, I was yeah. just tombstoning motherfuckers <laughs> everywhere. Tim, how are we doing? Doing great. You know? I I'm, I might not be a winner, but I'm here. Yeah. And I'm smiling but for now. The team won. Yeah, the team That's won. That's right. As, exactly. This as is a, a whole. team game. Thank God, huh? Pass the football. Producer Jay, how are you? I'm good. Uh, look, I just want to say, I'm never uh, someone who wants to infringe upon anybody else's glory. But I got to say, Cam, in the back of your mind, you didn't want to eat that goose egg. <laughs> no. You I didn't. I really didn't. You really didn't. He was no. worried about where to get the so, goose egg. A lot of things. Post you show, go. you were worried. Post like, show, you were like, "Wait, I could go." I talk. looked at my bet card and went, "Fuck this! this <laughs> <laughs> I might lose every single one of these bets." Like, no, I almost, I almost took your throne there, but I <laughs> close. Didn't. All right, <laughs> folks, let's get into what we're going to talk about here. Uh, we're going to start with wrapping up the Wells Fargo and my man Rory's return to the winner's circle. That was a, a great thing to see. Then we're going to get into some general golf stuff. We got a little spotlight. On uh, Honest Abe for Tim and uh, Bryson, just doing Bryson things. We're going to get a breakdown on uh, TPC Craig Ranch. First time there's ever been a tournament there. So we'll let y'all know what um, we think could be a factor this week. And after that, we're going to tell you what we think would be good bets this week at the Byron <laughs> Nelson. And uh, that's what we're going to get into. I feel into. like when you say Craig Ranch, you have to have like a piece of straw in your mouth. Yeah. Craig, Craig Ranch. In a rocking chair. Yeah. That would be cool. With sweet tea or something. Oh, yeah. I just love, uh, also, we didn't show the moms any love last week, you guys. Happy belated Mother's Day to all the moms out there. To my mom, too, Donna. I know you're listening. Um, <laughs> we should have done that probably because our moms are the reason why we're here. Literally. 100%. They Literally. brought us into this world, and they can take us out. They remind us of that always. Yeah, always. We're very humbled by that. Um don't forget to follow us, you guys, on social media. I will say this every time until I have so many followers that there's like a 1.1 1. 1 in the in the thing on on Instagram. At the Scramble Pod and on Twitter, at the Scramble underscore pod and on TikTok, at the Scramble Pod. We have one TikTok. That got, it's almost at like a thousand views. Yeah. Oh, it's Producer Jay. I th- it's Producer Jay swinging. Look, we might have to actually issue some sort of challenge <laughs> because, look, guys, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say... That was pretty impressive. Okay, oh, I Look, definitely don't think I could do who that. Else, who else thinks they can like do that? that? I've never seen anything like that. For, yeah. for those who so, haven't seen it, Justin was. No, t- don't, I say don't spoil it. Yeah, yeah. You gotta go watch. Go it. watch yeah, it. Go watch it. Go watch it. You go watch the TikTok. It, but look, I, uh, let let's let's just say that by at least next episode, maybe we'll update you via Scramble Pod Hedge Better social media channels. We will issue some sort of challenge to see if this feat can be recreated. No because chance. I, for one, am very proud of it, and I don't think that it can. That's so. impressive, to yeah. say the least. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think, look, I'm excited to be here filming another episode, shooting another show with you guys. Um, it's a it's a great week for golf at the Wells Fargo, as Rory McIlroy is back in the winner's circle for his first win since November 2019, which is the uh, HSBC Champions Tournament. Mm-hmm. And... Look, you guys, kind of came out of nowhere. He wasn't playing For great. some of you guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, we're going to get into the wrap of the bets and stuff, and Cam definitely told us. Like, And I ha- I personally have to eat a bunch of shit this week. Yeah. I was d- a big down on Rory, uh, and I bet on him in two matchups, and he just shoved it right in my right up my hoop. Yeah. Yep. Just, I mean, but it was awesome. Like Tim was saying last week, I remember you were like, he's got good course history here. He wasn't. He just wasn't playing great. Um, but it is awesome to see him win again. I don't know if you have any general comments on that because um, I I loved it. I loved every second of it. I was sweating on eighteen, hundred yeah. percent. Abe answer outright betters. <clears throat> Me. Oh, we're, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about oh, that. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, but I wanted to say if because I, I don't know if we're gonna touch it. His like little fist pump and just sigh of relief when he won was so gratifying to watch. You could tell like that he he that was his first win as a dad. He was so just grateful. 
then he just launches that ball into the crowd, just yeah. getting everyone fired up. I loved it. And it was then, sick. He was pumped. And then they just show his baby just bawling mm-hmm. her eyes out. That drama on the 18th, though, as soon as it came off the tee. Dude. Uh-oh. But that was also, also, what was cool about that made me think of what you said last week. Great caddy talk. Yeah. Great yeah, caddy talk. Needed it. Rory was like, I'm just going to hit it up this hill. The guy's like, why would you do that? Dude, when he started aiming left, I was watching with a couple other people. We were all like, what, why, what is he doing? What are you doing, dude? And finally, no his, finally, yeah, finally, his <laughs> caddy was just like, dude, why wouldn't you just, you're get, you're going to screw yourself here. Just drop it. And then eventually just place it. See? Because yeah. you can't keep it there. So you get to put it exactly you how know, you want I it. I might have guessed that Rory was a guy leaning towards no caddy. Is that mm. weird to say? Well, would, his caddy's his friend, right? Right. I, I would have thought he's on the threshold of, in, you know, in a few years, he's, he's, he's his own guy. I could see that. Not yet, though. <sighs> Not yet. He might strike me the opposite. Really? He you think he needs frisky it? He's sometimes. He's also a mental case. Like he is. That. He <laughs> does show emotion the whole time. Like, yeah. when he hits a bad shot, he sulk, sulks. Like, yeah. he bends way over. Yeah. I mean, he hit the drive up the left side, and I could hear Tim screaming from Tim's couch. Yeah. Wherever I was. I was like, this is this is a Tim versus Cam. I, I was 50 <laughs> miles sitting away. In the, <laughs> sitting in a seat, too, sitting on the floor. That thing when you're Hold playing it. video games, yeah. and all of a sudden you, you lean, you know, you lean exactly. forward. I grabbed a blanket and threw it over my head and said, no. <laughs> my dad was like, what are you talking about? I go, I have him outright. I just, it don't get all the way to the 72nd hole and blow it on me. How I mean, did that not go in the creek either? That was wild. That grass that around there was coming is in with legit. Such spin. And that that's heavy tough grass yeah. that like encompasses the bank. I mean, not to mention on a hole that literally was 210 over par all week. Yeah. Ridiculous. Hole the hardest every- hole on tour. Ate everybody up. It lived up to the hype. I mean, Roy leads the field in scrambling, which is a great stat. And he was 52 for 52 inside of six feet. That, every time it left the club, you knew it was in. Yeah. Even the long ones that like he shouldn't have hit, they had a chance. Was every that, one that of sort them. sort of a week. Yeah. yeah. That's all it takes is to get hot. He comes out on Saturday and it's like, hey, it's never easy. And then on his back back nine there on Sunday, he makes just two unreal shots the, from greenside bunkers on 14 and 15 for two birdies. That won the tournament. Yeah. The one on 15 was bananas. Because he was far too, and he and he had a lot of green to work with, and he does the old. I mean, f- I, one day I hope to learn like the out of the bunker, the one stop, yeah. one hop stop. Yeah, Are you kidding me? Those are crazy. Even yeah. the announcers like <laughs> yeah. this is a very yeah. hard bunker shot. <laughs> yeah. Sticks it. Those guys come out with so much like the bounce on the club, the ball. Like, how can you get that much spin out of the sand going that far? Meets I I'm I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, another thing I want to tee off on here. Is there nobody that could just like sweep that sand off the green? That so, was bothering me all so weekend. Annoying. So I think, I thought typically the, the like the whole steward, like there's a steward on every hole. I thought that. I thought they like sweep it after the. It was all over the place. Like there's a couple <laughs> putts that Rory like had to hit. And I'm like, well, he's got to putt through like a beach was to it, get there. Maybe there were fresh marks. No, I don't know. Yeah, I think you're right. I can't think of a situation. Just something small. Yeah. I just thought of. No, I mean, we annoyed me. Look, that's our, that could have been our tea time segment. Um, and also, he, you know, after he wins, Amanda Balionis, shout out to her, love her. He says, winning on Mother's Day, thinking of Erica, who's his wife, thinking of my mother back home. It just feels awesome in his pink dotted polo. Doesn't get any better on Mother's Day. Um, now with the win, though, you might might be looking at Rory for this he's uh, favorite now. PGA at Kiowa. Yeah, so he's the betting favorite, and his it went down from like fifteen hundred to twelve to plus twelve hundred to win or something. Like mid round, and yeah. then now under a thousand, I believe he's plus six fifty. Plus six fifty. Yeah. Is he the the favorite? Like, yeah. Now, now he is. Yeah. The last time it was there, he he, and Sunday at one point was up like he is at minus thirteen. The next guy was minus like seven. Wow. I haven't even. I mean, I have my. Own I mean, and he already. won the PGA the last time it was there in two thousand and twelve. Mm. Yep. And he ties Ernie Els for nineteen uh, career wins, um, from guys from Europe, Mister Sweet Swing, and four majors, um. Look, not even a handful of missed cuts seemed to to get at him, which which he had been, you know, he missed three out of five coming into this. Um, but is is for me, it's a true joy when he's striking the ball well, watching his swing, going through his motions. While he, what I like what you said is that he is emotional, and I like seeing the ups and downs. Yeah. Um, I don't. I didn't know how much longer I could continue to watch him not play well because that 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 was sad. Like when he was, I mean, he had a couple of really horrible rounds. Yeah. The masters, the players. Whatever he did with his new coach is working. Yeah, like they were saying, I was reading a couple articles, one from Kyle Porter, another one from a couple guys at ESPN. They're like, whatever he figured out in between round one and round two of this week, because um, he turned on his 
Game Breaker. Hope you guys played on the EA Sports Street Games. I yep. know what that is. NFL Street Volume 2 was the best game ever. Unbelievable. Yeah. Game. Great game. Even NBA Street. I, I even into. liked FIFA yeah. Street. FIFA Street was good too. Yeah. Uh, I just think he's fully back. And now we see him playing golf at the highest level. I was getting a little worried as the team golf Ryder Cup guy. I was like, if he keeps sucking, he might ha- he might be a fringe captain's pick yeah. for the yeah. Ryder Cup. Um, but, but with the win, he I think that pretty much locked it up. Yeah, but like you said, it's it's just good for golf. Yeah, right now. Yeah. And the, going into a major this week, you know, Rory won, Spieth won, the Shambos won twice already this year. Mm. G- golf is peaking. I almost feel like we went through a lull where like the best guys in the world just weren't winning for a while. They but that's starting to change. It's completely changing. And just in time for majors. It's gonna yeah. Oh, so Justin Thomas won the players. Yeah. Yep. Like people are winning again. The only thing that would be the only thing that needs to happen. I heard somebody else say this, so this is an original, but. If Brooks wins this week, <laughs> and they're all just In off recent great wins, great form, yeah, yeah that'd be fun. Yeah, well, that'd be like that'd be a shootout. It, I mean, when the stars, you know, it's better for every sport when the stars play well. Um, you know, the NBA seems to do a great job of marketing. You know, the superstars and stuff. The PGA Tour is getting there. You know, it's not the most popular sport in America, but it's it growing. is. It is growing. That's right. Taylor made put up a thing yesterday of uh, there was like three million projected new golfers this year. Taylor made just sold. Whoa! To yeah, who? for like one point two billion. Weren't they an Adidas so like company? Some sort of like a uh, I think it's a Korean private equity firm or something. No way! Yeah. I thought they were owned by Adidas. I don't know. I saw I have it today. No idea. Buddy sent me an article. Adidas on it. owns like CCM, Taylor made, and Reebok. Maybe they bought them from Adidas. Yeah, maybe something like that. That's wild. Either that, or I got like catfished on the internet, which is <laughs> totally a possibility. <laughs> Tim's guy, honest Dave, answer with a second place after ripping up the course on Sunday, five under. Mm-hmm. I mean, a couple with one miss, he could have played the Green Mile under par. Yeah, I mean. That would have been, I think they said, if he had birdied the 18th and ended up winning, that would have been the first time anybody has ever birdied out 16 through 18 and won the tournament. As a R- Rory outright better, I wasn't even upset at a Manson. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, if this guy wins, he deserves to he win. He's playing out of his mind. Awesome. That, We're going to talk about him in detail later. That but. shot on 15 out of the gallery to chip it to it's like a foot. Yeah. Incredible. And yeah. that was like a 40-yard chip. Out of horrible trampled grass, it was one of the most impressive things. I know Fa- uh, Faldo's on the call. He's like, "My goodness, like just <laughs> ridiculous touch." But I mean, when Abe's playing well too, he's a future rising star. Yeah, like, that's good for the game like, too. Six or seven top twenties in a row. A fourth yep. last time out. Second this week. Like, woo, knocking. Uh-oh. He's Uh-oh. knocking. Uh-oh. Uh, Keith Mitchell blows a two shot lead. Stinks. Yeah. <laughs> Not sold on him. No, nope, I'm not either. I don't. You know, to be honest. Sorry, Keith. I don't even like your look. <laughs> he got, was like everything stoic, like the whole day. The whole day, like relaxed. He buddy. was just shitting himself that yeah, he was oh, like gonna maybe win. I mean, definitely. he has wins before. Yeah, he's the same guy Pretty that played hitter. with a bent putter the week before. Didn't even know. That bothers me <laughs> beyond look. belief. Not a good look. I just couldn't. I was texting these guys all weekend long. Like, if Keith Mitchell wins this, I'm going to jump off a bridge. He lost nine and a half strokes to the field. Yeah. <laughs> and that was part of my, like, death week betting. I had him top 20. He went from 14 to 70th in one round of putting. That's brutal. Because oh, my putter was bent. Like, what? Yeah. He's a big, uh, he was a big name going into this week, too, for a lot of betters. And I'm like, I, I don't trust that guy. I so, I mean, that. Yeah. No thanks. But Victor, again, plays. A, a great tournament and he's just keeping keeping good golf in his like repertoire here he's so hard to not root for you know what i think is uh interesting with him is he seems to play well no matter the course fit either he just shows up with his lunch pail it's just really goes to work yeah see a brian Harmon guy brian Harmon definitely guy, uh, a brian Har- yeah, Harmon guy. like 10 way more athletic player, but, <laughs> way yeah. more athletic better looking and definitely yeah. better for tv yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, he had a little mid spring lull, but T3 at the Valspar yep. and another one this week. I'm calling him Smiley Vic. He goes into these next few weeks with some high expectations, um, especially into Kiowa. Of course, that favors the guy that can rip a long shot. Yeah. Um, he was seventh in T to green, which is slightly better than what Rory did. But again, Victor playing good golf. I, I, I admit I was a guy that was like, he's going to burn out. I don't trust his short game. And he's proven me wrong. Yeah. Yep. Thanks, Vic. And again, 
Mr. You know, he, he couldn't go a whole week without being in the face of the freaking media. The world's most attention seeking bag of milk has a wild <laughs> week. 68 68 on the weekend. Great golf. I'll give you that one, Bryson. Um, for an absolute backdoor, like the definition of backdoor top 10. Only made the cut because the weather was bad for the yeah, people finishing. For the people finishing. It comes a, in. It was and, a lock, though. Okay. It was like, we did say that. Yeah. That was our yeah. consensus pick. That yeah, was yeah. a consensus pick. Okay. Yeah, so we're all happy about it. So the consensus pick, is it back for us? Like, are we okay? Make yeah. It? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. We might have another couple this week. You guys stay tuned. Um, he plays 18, though, at plus three on the weekend. And I was reading some recap articles today, and they're just like, if he just pars or birdies that a few times instead of going over part, like he's like in, in contention to yeah. be in the final group. Yeah. No one's ever lost so many strokes gain like no many, so many strokes on approach than him and still finish in the top 10. <laughs> yeah. ever. I mean, he played the par fives at even Bryson's never going to play par fives at ever even again. On no. a tournament like that. But I mean, he, I guess we're going to talk about, I him. mean, another guy that comes out firing too, um, is Phil. I'm watching the PGA tour live on, on Thursday and, I, and we're texting. I'm yeah. like, Phil is fully back. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and dude, I tee to green, dude. If he can, if he can gain strokes, tee to green, he's a monster. Well, he's so good around the green. I have some bad news for you because he then played his last three rounds at fourteen over and lost ten strokes to the field from tee to green. Yep, not good, dude. It, it was, it was true though. Like even, you know, my my uncles and I'm texting with my buddies from college and we're like, dude, Phil, like, is Phil back? I, it's hard for a guy his age to keep up with the young guns. I think I know nowadays and. It's a little disappointing, but I don't know. I think golf is better when Phil's playing well or when Phil's, you know, getting some media attention. Another guy we need to talk about is Gary Woodland. And I thought, you know, yeah. poor Gary. Yeah. Gary the snail. He said out he said before the week that, you know, his game had hit rock bottom. Like he just didn't know what he was doing. He switched his shafts back yep. to the style he was successful with. And he was You can you know, tell too. T two all Sunday. When he's much. on the tee, snapping that club like whip you know he has like the cool little wrist whip yeah at the bottom and he's hitting stingers i like gary Woodland oh, a lot. I, I li- he's also a, like a great guy he does yeah. a ton of charity work for kids with special needs and can't beat that um but he plays fantastic it's good for the week good for the game and he switched all the stuff like you said on his clubs and he's a guy that is a big superstar for the game add him to the list of if he's playing well golf is better yeah I think so completely. I I don't I don't know if he's in that top echelon, but he's right. But he's there. close. Yeah, it's probably like I put him in the same group as like it. Webb Simpson. Yeah, like they're both like apparently elite golfers, like statistically, <laughs> yeah. but like they yeah. don't get hyped like it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, conversely, this was a guy I was very high on yeah. going into the week. Max Homa, what are you doing? You good, bro? He stunk. Dude, what was that? He was on PJ Tour a lot. I I watched both of his rounds. Yeah, he he was horrible. He looked lost. Yeah, and moping around, like yeah. walking around. Like he was so cocky coming into that week oh. after the oh, good finish. I mean, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'm just better at yeah. golf. <laughs> I'm just he quotes his quote was I'm just better at golf, and then he goes out and throws this on our plates. Not a good look. I watched him miss so many putts and miss so many greens. It was. It was horrible to watch. And I guess what someone tweeted uh, at him. Yeah, no, he his Twitter game has his been Twitter game is unbelievable. I mean, unbelievable. Good, right? So yeah. someone tweeted at him asking why he didn't play. <laughs> like just on like Saturday, whatever. He's like, I didn't make the cut. And then somebody <laughs> somebody else I saw yesterday tweeted at him like, Thanks, dude. Like I lost my bet. Like you said you were better at golf. Like whatever. He goes, Thanks for supporting hashtag golf and growing the game. Sorry you suck at game one. <laughs> That's a perfect <laughs> I like that. I'm in that. I sorry, I suck at gambling too, Max. Some notable guys that missed the cut. Johnny Rom. I was big. I was high on him. I thought he'd have a, a better fluke. week. That I think that was he a got fluke. hit by the weather. Willie Z, maybe a little uh, freshman skid. Uh, top ten. Tony did not make it. Ricky not shocked. Uh, and Sun J M. That one was shocking. I know for a lot of people. I had Ricky him. was three under did going he? into the Green Mile on Thursday. Yeah, I, I really thought he had a chance. Tied for third. Mm-hmm. And then Friday was hilarious. Caught. Played horrible. I was so excited. Like I was just working. I hadn't checked my phone. I'm like, Ricky's in a good spot. Like I'm pumped. <laughs> I'm top 20. Get to my phone. She's a text from you. Be like at that meme. Like Ricky stinks. Ricky always stinks. <laughs> it's like, it's the astronaut looking at the earth. What? Ricky stinks. And the guy behind him. He always stinks. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was 
a, a, a spectacle to watch him just hit balls in, in horrible trees areas into the water on 18. His putter wasn't bad. He just couldn't get there. That's a problem. Uh, that's a problem. And again, uh, I don't know if he's in the field this week, is he? I think he is. Rick, yeah, he's got yeah, he to play every tournament the rest of his I life. Know. He keeps still, PGA Tour card. Still somehow yeah. with a bogus exemption for the PGA, which I don't understand. Watch him just go out and win it. He's going to go out and win it. Oh. That's still bullshit. He shouldn't be in it. Yeah, I would be pissed if I was another player. Uh, if I'm a guy on the edge, like who plays like every other week? Kiradekt, the barn rat? Mm-hmm. Like a guy like him? Like, oh, Ricky takes my spot? Yeah. Anyways, Oops. that'll wrap up our Wells Fargo. You guys, it was a cool tournament to watch. I love it every year. Quail Hollow doesn't get any better. Um, how'd you guys do betting? Uh, <laughs> I carried the boys. I think so. <laughs> so 8 8, How's your but- back? Um, I, well, you guys lifted me up the week before, so I had to do my part. I had to rise from the dead and with you, your souls. Mm-hmm. And uh, I went 8 for 8 for 19.3 units. Thank you, Rory. I never had a doubt. And without that win, you still would have had a good week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but that so, helped a lot. Yeah, uh, I was 5 and 11 down 6 units. That's my worst week to date. You got my, you got my promise. That's not going to happen again. Every matchup when I went to bed on Thursday was looking good. And... The last, the next three days just derailed everything. So me oh, wow. being self proclaimed matchup guy didn't work out. It's okay. Yeah. So I went two seven and one. I lost three and a half units. And I think about it this way, you know, with COVID, our books were out of business for a while. There's no yeah. sports. I'm just giving back. <laughs> and I'm supporting Support local business. Hundred percent. I'm boosting them up. But <laughs> next week, he's gonna have all those funds ready to send back. He better. Yeah. Not yeah. that I'm not going to do well this week. That's not what that means. But that's a good way to put it. Yeah. So I'm just a charitable, charitable guy. Yeah. Sorry. That's good. good for Giving you. back to the community. No, but I, you know, I don't want to be like, you know, selfish. Yeah. We have taken a lot from them. Yeah. As a team. Yeah. yeah we were, t- we've taken a lot from them early. Yeah. Yeah. I know we, we kind of, we did cool off, but with that win, we're back. We're back. That's uh, two out of three outrights. And, me. and what? And I had an outright earlier. I mean, our outright percentage is pretty damn good. Yeah. I mean, I stink. Let's be <laughs> no, 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 no. You have an outright. Right. No, you have an outright. Who? Speak. When? Jordan. The first up. week we did this show. Yeah. But it's been a while, Cam. I did too. All right. Well, I've I've stunk since the Masters. Stunk. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why we're here. Sorry. We grind this out every week. Our jacket picks, you guys. Now we're up. We might be touching double digits for the jacket. jacket so picks. if you guys take the jacket picks every week, we're touching 10 plus units now through six shows. Yeah. So pretty good. We went two and three. I had my guy absolute put on your neon vest, your Carhartt, your red wing steel toe boots. Brian Harmon's going to get you a top 20. Yep. Thanks. Yeah. I had John Rom top 10. That didn't work, but I had the Rory outright. So yeah, yeah. whatever. You're forgiven for, yeah, your, that's for okay. your jacket. That's all right. Um, I had Bryson top 10. We all did. 25. Luck. It was a lock. That was the consensus <laughs> lock. Ne- never a doubt. Yeah, never never a doubt. doubt. Even when he Not was on the whole plane time. back to Dallas, being an absolute hardo. That's right, you guys. So, jacket picks are up. Look, Cam has a good week. He picks us up. This week is different. This week, we're all going positive. Sure. Yeah, we are. That'd be nice. Yeah, that'd be cool. Now, we're going to dive into some general golf stuff. I know, uh, Tim, this is your guy. I want you to kind of yeah. take us in. I read the article, but I, I want to hear what you guys yeah. think. Yeah, Abe Answer. Um, it's no secret that I love this guy. He had a, an article in Golf Digest and some absolutely fascinating things came yeah. to light. So um, he grew up, he was born in Texas, but grew up a uh, little south of the border city in Mexico. Um, he worked with a few PGA Tour pros early in his life. He said two to three, and he has been self-taught since he was a kid. He does not have a swing coach. That, just that like is ridiculous. But Bubba's got like a unique sort of a take on the game. Like Abe is just, you know. I don't know. He has like a normal sort of a swing, but that's I true. just think that's incredible. That's wild. Yeah, it is. I didn't know that at all before yeah. this. These guys all do. That's, yeah. that's weird to not. Yeah. Um, he went to Odessa Junior College. Uh, Friday Night Lights, the movie, Permian uh, Panthers hello. from Odessa. Yeah, that's pretty I sweet. think I mentioned last week, it's the greatest movie ever made. I love all y'all. Yeah. I, I mean. It is a good movie. Unbelievable. Um, he owns a tequila brand. That we're going to have to get into. Yeah, I that I yeah, just. We're going to have to. Sneaky. Wild. What we, an investment. Can we try to find that and get some yeah. for, the, for the fellas here? Yeah. I love tequila. We're all tequila drinkers. Yeah. Yeah, we are. With some ice? Sure. We actually, if that's we wild. All four of us actually do love do tequila. tequila. All right. Yeah. So, all right. So, for next episode, I'll buy us a bottle of his tequila and we'll have some sips. 
Let's go. Do, do you down. think that Little it's available juice? around yeah. here, though? I'll, I'll fly it in. Okay. I got a tequila guy. You actually, you know what I had for the first time last weekend was the Rocks tequila? Oh, Terramana. Terramana. Delicious. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, it yeah. is good. Have you ever had the ghost pepper tequila? Delicious also. Ghost tequila is unreal. with you for the first Heartburn time. Heartburn, big time, though. They're a big drip. They're a big fat baby drink. I'm wearing my fat baby yep. hat. You can't see it. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're all over there. Yep. Yep. It's a good okay. We should yeah. we could do we could do some uh, a banter tequila on the rocks for yeah. the show. Get yeah. a little loose. For the PGA Championship. Oh special? come on! Pod juice. Imagine if he wins Please. and we're drinking his tequila. Oh my God, I'd be a little. We have to be one next week. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so self- selfish of you, Abe. Yeah, come on, buddy. Uh, hot seat, Jordan Spieth. Abe is one A right now. This guy is crawling up my rankings. Um, I and, feel like he's leaping. In, yeah, he's like, leaping. Bounding yeah. up I've your rankings. I've always kind of liked him. Yeah. Um, yeah, but you but just said he was more important than, than Jordan, Jordan? Spieth. I mean, no, that's... he's not. I said he's 1A. Okay. Well, Jordan is still 1A? Up. I mean, I thought Jordan would be 1A and he no, would be Jordan 1B. No, Jordan is 1. Oh. And then there's oh. one. It's a different tier. I don't know it's how you're in sort of AB. Usually I would do like 1A, work. 1B. Yeah, I would do that too. Okay. Well. So he's your 1B? There you go. He's my he's my 2 then. Okay. They can't be on the same level because they're not. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Trying to create like sub levels here. So Jordan's not on a hot seat. Hey, maybe next week. Well, he's still. I mean, Abe's coming in hot. If Abe so. wins a couple times, if you know. Abe wins next week, he's back to the bottom. <laughs> yeah, don't do this. Don't do this. Maybe week. next week we'll just have our straight up list of favorite, our top five favorite golfers. I'm in, and we'll and we'll just do a little rationale as to that why. that would be good I'm for in. the listeners too, because it would show the bias that we have. Him. Oh, like so biased. Yeah. yeah. See, so my like. Three, my my two through five, you'd be like, oh, that's why he bets on those guys every yeah. week. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. I think also he's quietly, and I mean quietly, very like not a media guy. No, quietly one of the best strikers of the ball on tour. Absolutely, and and guys on tour say that. And he's a small, small guy. I think he's like with five, great eight. hair, and sick he, hair. Oh my god, god unbelievable dude. hair. Are you the kidding me? Lecha El Zul, I think that's the name of his tequila brand. I've just bought a hat. Blue Arrow. Is that pretty what that cool. Means? I just bought a hat. They're oh, sick. Yeah, that's what they're Vamos. Means. All right. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I was a French guy. I didn't take Spanish. Yeah, I had no idea. Did you? That, I just translated that. Yeah. yeah, I have no idea what oh, that was. That was pretty means. good. Yeah, Blue Arrow. There you go. All right. Cool. I, that's why I looked at you like, I don't know what you just said. Did you really order a hat? Yeah. Oh, dude, we get, we, oh, I'm going to go get one too. I would they're prefer sick. the tequila. I mean, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Package deal. Perfect. Uh, Bryson leaves on Friday after his round to get a workout in after thinking he missed the cut. And my first comment to that is, hey, man, fucking chill out. Yeah. Big time. <laughs> Relax, dude. At least wait for the round to be over. Dude, yeah. like, here's the thing. If he was 10 over and he was like in the bottom three of players that had finished, yes, yeah. Bryson, head home. Go ahead. He was like T70 or 72. No, I think when, it's 75. He make was, it and he was 76. So. No, 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 it's 65. No, it was 65, and he, oh. and he was he 75. Like so, but right, but you know there's still four or five hours of golf left after you finish up, bozo. Yeah. Buddy, go to yeah. Planet Fitness. Relax. Yeah, go to Gold's For Gym, oh will you? It was, it was all over the place. What are you doing? Is and he then okay? He, no. I don't think he's okay. He's not all here. No, he's di- a great. A lot of great people are different. He is hitting, like, he stories special. about him, like, hitting golf balls until he passes out. Yeah, I died. How is that helping you, bud? Conditioning. Conditioning. He's never going to get tired swinging that golf club. Hey, I I have a conditioning problem. I hit hole 14 (laughs) and I suck. That's bullshit. (laughs) That's a focus for what I don't run carts. What I don't like is that as soon as he left, he puts up a video. He's he's on Instagram putting up videos of him working out. Fucking cool, man. Yeah. Sick, dude. Congratulations, (laughs) you work out. Your body looks like a bag of a a Ziploc bag filled with cottage cheese. That's what I mean. He's not. He's not. He's He's not not ripped. I don't know. He can't be. But they are. He also. We've said this before. He has a group of friends that are like, "Yeah, bro, that's freaking sick." Yeah. And there's they just yes him to death. Yes, man. Yep. Yep. I can't stand this freaking guy. Look what he's doing. We're still talking about him. He leaves Every Texas. Week. I and know. God damn it. You know what? One of my buddies made a good point. He was like, do you think that he just did that because nobody talked about him last week? That's what I'm saying. He needs he attention. Just every every week. So he flew to Texas. He might have, hey, but we all made money off Get of him. Get some buys and yeah. tries in. Thanks for buddy. your backdoor top 10. Uh, he leaves Texas at 3 a.m. on Saturday. And when I found that out as his round was going on on Saturday, I'm like, okay, so our top 10 bet is dead. That guy's exhausted. Yeah. Nope. Nope. He played wild. He said he plays better when he faces adversity like that. Oh, yeah, but he does. Uh, <laughs> loser. 
DJ withdraws from the Byron Nelson this week. He says his his nagging knee injury, but possible reason why he's been playing bad? Uh, possibly. Although I, I saw this right before the show. Someone put up uh, like a phone video of him just chilling on his boat, and he was just doing backflips off the second level. Oh, okay. All so weekend this is, long. So Wells, this is bullshit. During the Wells yeah, he Fargo. Play. He doesn't want to play. He just doesn't want to play. Okay. All right. So, but also that makes me not trust him still if he just doesn't want to play. Well, I, I don't know. A, a, the same knee mechanics. It's the same knee that he flips. had surgery on in 2019. Are we? Does it actually happen? There's a video of him this we need week to find, yeah. back? Yeah, I don't I mean, I'll Paulina literally documents everything they do. Yeah. Their lives are very public. Not a good look there, uh, DJ. Just don't have it. Just don't sign up for the yeah. tournament. He says, the knee discomfort I occasionally experience has returned. And quote, I'm not pleased about the situation. I was looking forward to so playing this So he didn't week. say this. This was written statement or something? Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. no way Dustin Johnson said, I am not pleased about this situation. <laughs> I was really looking I'm not it. pleased yeah, about this no situation. Chance. He definitely doesn't speak that uh, fast either. But also, the Travelers Championship, you guys, wow. he's going to allow fans and require them to wear masks. And Cam, I don't know if you remember, but that's the site of when Jordan chipped in to beat Danny Berger in a playoff yeah, with the club right. throw. That's okay. I was eating dinner at the fours and the TV was behind who I was eating with. Oh yeah, dude. He's, he's fucking jumping off boats. Your knee's fine. Yeah, yeah he's, he's fine. He's fine. He's a loser. Um, that was our, that was me. No, he isn't, but I'm eating dinner at the force. The one in Norwell, good force. And, uh, I remember like not really paying attention to the playoff at the time. Cause I was like eating and then I look up and just, I erupted food everywhere. After he won, it was awesome. Um, but that was the first golf tournament back after COVID with DJ won. Yeah. And had like 40 fans. And he said it felt like a junior golf championship when there were like 10 people around the green just like kind of clapping. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they'll have fans back. That's huge. And because that's a Northeastern state. Oh, yeah. So that's, we're getting there. We're getting lenient. Fans are back. And this one might be more for me because I love team golf. Uh, the Walker Cup, you guys. Do you know I watched some about of that, this? Actually. Okay. Was it actually on TV? That well, was one of my gripes. was like, I, I wished it was more. I think I watched public. it on my phone. Okay. But I, and I also on TV, I watched the introductions, which was pretty cool to see. Those guys are awesome. We'll yeah. talk about a few of them. George um, Bush was there. W? George W. Bush was just, they just picked him as a celebrity, I guess. I don't know. He just walked out and everyone was like, oh, look, it's the president. So the Walker Cup is essentially the Ryder Cup, but for amateurs, they play a variety of styles, four ball, foursomes singles match play last day uh austin eckrote in pearson cootie i'd like to submit that name it's a great name uh get the u.s off to a hard start while cole hammer also great name your last name's hammer dude i tried dude. so hard to bet him this week he wasn't on any yeah, I couldn't find website him anything i just wanted him to bet him to make the cut it'll be a shame if that guy had a small uh small manhood <laughs> no he's got a, just hammer. a waste of a name yeah. he's got a hammer I'm Cole Hammer. Uh, he actually didn't lose a point the whole tournament, and he's a guy that I think that we're going to see on tour uh, coming up in the end of this year into next year too. People are saying, many people are saying, Hope and so. uh, and local guy Cam for you in South Carolina, Stu Hagestad finishes them off in the singles. Um, he's a Hilton Head guy, and it's every two years. And like I said, I kind of wish I could have seen it a little bit, but there's always going to be a PGA tournament at the same time. Yeah, tough to watch. Uh, and that's going to bring us into, before we get into the Byron Nelson, look, when you're playing golf out there, you guys, you got to know what your yardages are. You got to know where you're at. If you're an amateur golfer and you don't know your numbers, go to the driving range, get a pinned golf ace range finder, and gun some things on the range and hit balls at them. Figure out your numbers. The ace range finder is their new newest product. I mean, the thing's fantastic. I got one on the way, actually. So I'm going to be using that thing. Oh, maybe I have to order one. I mean, Tim's got one. I have one. They're fantastic. The technology is outstanding, you guys. Pinned Golf is a great company. Uh, support them. Like Tim supporting his small business with his bookie. Support Pinned Golf, you guys. And just for being lis- you know, listeners of the podcast, we're going to give you a promo code. What is it? Scramble. Scramble. How do you spell that? S-C-R-A-M-B-L-E. Exactly. And you're going to use that at checkout. For twenty five dollars off any rangefinder, yeah, and they run promotions too, so you might get a little twofer. They can yeah. run sales, 
Follow them on Instagram, you guys. Pinned Golf. P I N N E D Golf. And I'd like to say, if you get your rangefinder and you know you shoot something and you're like, wait, this is super blurry. It's not broken. You don't have it focused. Because that happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna say, I'm not wearing contacts. <laughs> One of my buddies took it and they were like, dude, why didn't you focus this? I'm like, what? And oh. then I looked at it. I was like, wow, this is how it's supposed to look. Since <laughs> we're playing blurry golf so for that's months. A little, uh, little nugget for you. But yeah, guys, go over to pinnedgolf.com. Use promo code SCRAMBLE at checkout for $25 off of your order. Pinned Golf, always dialed in. All right, everybody. Let's get into this AT&T Byron Nelson. Uh, that's going to be held at TPC Craig Ranch, just outside Dallas in McKinney, Texas. We've Howdy. got a lot of local guys playing in this tourney. Uh, I saw, I don't know if Money Magazine's a big magazine, but this was named one of the best places to live in 2017, which is huh. pretty cool. Huh. Money Magazine? Yeah, and I know Sung Kang, who's in this tournament, he, 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 lives, won it last time. he lives on this course. He's a, he's a and member. He coincidentally won it when it wasn't here. Yeah, right? That's pretty funny. It's a par 72. It's playing just under 7,500 yards, and it was designed by famed golf architect Tom Weisskopf. Tim's guy. Weisskopf. Yeah. We, <laughs> I was going to make, yeah, you beat me to it. <laughs> And uh, it was designed in 2004, so relatively newer golf course. Because, I mean, a lot of these courses that we're playing are a lot older than that. Mm-hmm. We missed this tournament last year due to COVID. It was, uh, so it's been a while. New course, new AT&T. It is what it is. Um, this course has actually never had a PGA Tour event. It's only held Corn Ferry Tour events. There were two tour championships uh, on the Corn Ferry Tour held here. This course has... Uh, three different types of greens. I think there are only f- uh, grass. Sorry, I think there's only four types of grass really yeah. on Bermuda bent. The uh, whatever it begins with a Z. Uh, oh, that's that's we should know that. And a oh, different one. They're goodness. two. They're two weird ones. But this course has three of the different types of grasses. Like the one that begins with a Z is the Pawana. fairway. Huh? Pawana. That's Zoysia. 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 And Zoysia. Rye is the other one. We're not kidding. What's Pawana? Not, not for the green. Uh, I don't know. Moana is a good movie. No, no. Poana's is uh, grass. Give, come on, give me this. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't you know. could be. But the, the, the golf types, it's Bermuda, Bent, Rye, Zoysia. Okay, so this has Zoysia fairways, Bermuda roughs, and Bent grass greens. So there's like really not a lot of rough on this golf course. It's pretty wide open. Um, and with it being wide open, they actually have pretty large greens. They're bigger than Augusta's. They're, you know, big landing zones. Um, the hardest hole in the course is, um, hole number 13. It is an uphill par four. Other than that, there's really not too many difficult holes in this course. All the par fives are reachable. They're short. They're short. The par threes are longer, but there's not too much hazard trouble on them. A lot of the fairways aren't, they're tree line, but not, not close enough that, it it should really affect most hitters on this co- on this course. I was seeing that the the par three is they got they have like a two ten a two twenty five and like a two thirty par, yeah. par three. But the green they said the greens are so big yeah. that guys just hit like you know they're not worried about shaping it into them. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and all the par fives are right around five hundred fifty yards. And with these guys putting it out there three hundred plus, most of the field yeah. is going to have a shot at this in two. It's gonna be, it's gonna be Eagle Fest. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's, it's gonna, gonna be. Gonna a, go it's gonna be a lot, a lot of scoring. Yeah. And I and I was looking at um, some uh, Action Network, mm-hmm. which is another site you get, uh, information is on. Mm-hmm. Um, there's been nine new courses in the past five years, like nine first time course uses, and almost uh, what was it? And uh, they gaudy seventeen point eight strokes under par is the winning average. <laughs> that is gaudy. Jesus. For a new course, because they don't want to, they don't want players to not like the course the first time easy. they play it. Yeah. No, they don't want it to oh, be too I see hard. What you're saying like they're turned off by how bad they played. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay. Which does happen yeah. a lot. Like the U.S. Open gets like ripped for <laughs> it being too hard. They don't want to make it super difficult. So I really think that this could get real, real low. And um, I was trying to find some courses that were similar to Craig Ranch, and there wasn't really too many. Torrey Pines, I found to be pretty similar. Um, so I feel like Torrey Pines is a lot harder though with the wind on the coast. Yeah, um, and the tree the tree lines can get tricky at Torrey Pines. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
and then Sherwood Country Club, Medina Country Club, Firestone, which is where the Firestone. Bridgestone is. That's yep. a good course. But again, they're not like they're all pretty wide open courses. Yeah. And I'm pretty upset because the last two tournaments that we've had, we've had pretty cool names for the final three holes. We had the Green Mile, we had the Snake Pit. Mm-hmm. We got nothing going on here. Candyland. Can- Candyland. Candy Land? Something easy. I don't know. That seems. I, don't no, know. I do like some that. like southern like farm like the trough. The trough. The trough. <laughs> I don't know. Could be the trough. It's on a range. You're gonna get, eat there. Yeah. You're just. You're gonna eat. Oh, the horses are eating. That was good. That? Yeah. That was, oh, let's go. All right. Point. All right. We're gonna put that on our socials too. I'm gonna be like. Here's the, the head of the week at the trough. And the last hole is a par five. 18 is a par big. five. So you could, there could be a lot of dude, eagles. I love when courses do that. I wish every big course uh, on tour did that. Yeah, the ninth it makes and it more the, exciting. Every course par, nine, should end in a par five. Nine and, and 18 should be par five. Yeah. That's what this course is, which I like. Yep. Yeah. Um, it's part of the PGA Tour family. So it's going to be designed for shots, players to hit with spin. It's and, a TPC too. So it's going to be mint looking. Yeah, it's going to be perfect. Gonna be perfect. Um, and then just like I thought it'd be important, last week the weather was wild, and it literally in the past 10 years, there's only been one other tournament that, um, like the tea times like starts mm-hmm. had more effect on players. What do you think? Wind? Oh, it was all Bad. the wind, all yeah. the wind, wind in the face. It's a long, it makes the course way longer, and it was already long to begin with. Um, it's like this. Be- is that a big thing this week, you think? Uh, I get Well, it's Texas, so there's always those Texas winds you got to watch out for. Yeah. But the forecast, I looked, like one day looks a little bit windy. Other than that, there's going to be, it's it's raining there right now. So the course could soften up a little bit, but this weekend's supposed to be fine and warm. Okay, so guys are really going low. Yeah, that's what right I was there. thinking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I wanted to throw this in there before we start breaking down our picks, but got some good sponsor exemptions this week. Thomas Peters, my guy. Mm-hmm. Which we've just learned is a pretty big hothead, which I love. Huge. Uh, we got Tyler Strafacci, who I picked as the low amateur in the Masters. That didn't work out, but I like the name. He's pretty solid. And then the guy we just talked about, Cole Hammer. Fuck. Cole just Hammer. Imagine being his girlfriend. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> That's be pretty cool, honestly. She's probably gonna be pretty rich someday. Yeah. And then Cole Hammer, the name. Uh, usually we break down the past winners, you guys, but there's Doesn't- never. That, Don't matter. That's, that's, that really doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all because we're playing a new course here, boys. I mean, everything that we look at in terms of stats and comparable courses is really just a guess. Um, yeah. Because we don't know. Um, but the stats that I think most people are taking into account this week, strokes gained off the tee. Um, similar to last week, it's not going to penalize you, it seems. Um, the longer hitters who might spray it a little bit. Um, birdie or better for sure. Par five scoring is going to be huge here because you can reach at least three out of four of these par fives. Yeah. Um, so you'll see Eagles this week for sure. And then uh, approach shots uh, over 200 yards. As we mentioned, three par threes playing over 200. Um, that's going to be key. Uh, strokes gain T degree in general. I think I already said better, better percentage. You both put shots gained approach. I, I- didn't. Okay, so here's my thing. So I, at first, thought that strokes gained off the tee was going to be huge. But then I thought, well, I, I just completely like worked myself out into a new theory that off the tee distance will help, but accuracy doesn't matter as much because you can kind of spray it. I think that this is going to be an approach and putting week. I like completely changed, like for my bets, what I initially thought was going to be important to what I do now think is important. Did you put putting on there? No, oh, no, I did not. But oh, okay. I like when I went back and was like thinking about it more, like a lot of the guys are going to be in positions to shoot low. It's going to be the guys who stick it close and finish with the flat stick. It's like we talked about. It's on either end of the pen. Either end of the spin. Yeah. And I think this easy. is going to be an easy course. So okay. I think whoever gets hot with the flat stick, uh, well, obviously he's going to win. Like that's a stupid statement, but like <laughs> breaking news. I'm yeah, breaking news. advocate here though. Yeah, so, no, please. Last week. Rory had been his two worst clubs were his wedges on approach and his putter, and they just kind of came alive. Well, was that's that the, because he was playing better off because off the tee allowed him to do that. I that's a strong possibility. I also think that putting is like the hardest metric to to I, I to measure. again I've said it before. I don't I don't even look at putting. I know putting's hard to. I know, that's the thing. It's like uh, the this the data is like it is what it is. Like it's not yeah. wrong. Like he does gain these strokes, but that could like. 
there's there's reasons that they break it down like who puts good on Bermuda, who puts good on Ben. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. literally, there's so many different things. I would say, you know, for those of you at home, like you know, you're looking at a guy that like put some weight into a guy that's a really good putter. If 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 you're debating taking a bet on him, right? Mm. That helps. A hundred percent. There's a million guys on this tour all average. There are there are a few that like really gain strokes putting, and you could say that guy can always putt no matter what. Yeah, I'd say that's the time you take into consideration. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. It's, all right. Who wants to kick it off? Who who wants to go first? Uh, I'll go last. Oh, I went first. Hold on. Point. I was looking at approach, tee to green, birdie percentage, and par five scoring. You guys mentioned all those, but those are my four. Yeah. Okay. The only thing I added there was approach 200 plus i had that too um all right i'll go first okay why not um so let's start with outrights 18 to 1 db straight vibing Mm. um uh that's a consensus for me cam i have a crossed out it can be easily come on it can be easily uncrossed out why why did you cross it out because i switched it to just the top 20 okay that's safer okay probably um i had one other uh, outright on DB over the last few weeks we've been doing this podcast. Um, again, it, it, what this comes down to for me is like, especially in the last year and a half, I think DB has been on par with like a John Rahm or a Bryson and you're getting value at 18 to one that you're not going to get with those guys. Mm-hmm. Um, but DB is an excellent par five score. He hits it long off the tee. Uh, his birdie or better percentage is great. Uh, he basically met all the metrics that, uh, I wanted in a good golfer, maybe not as much the approach 200 plus, um, but all other three categories were strong. Um, and then Cam Champ 60 to one uh, is my other outright. I've liked him for a few weeks now. I don't know. Uh, Again at the uh, Zurich, I think he carried Tony at times. He did. He, he did. is the he is a long hitter. <laughs> the only thing I think is he can't putt. He can't finish holes. He stinks when he has to chip. Or uh, his approach game has been much stronger. Over the last two uh-huh. months, yeah, I months. like him. I hope. Oh, he does me well. too. I hope he does well. Great. Guy. And his putter was actually really good at the Zurich. Not really good. I don't know what the stat is there. I'm talking with all the other stats, but the from my eye, it was good. Okay. Um, sixty to one. There you go. Uh, matchups, one unit each. DB over Hideki Matsuyama. Um, Hideki hasn't <sighs> played since the Masters. I uh, I weighed that heavily I, as well. I yeah. stayed away from that. Really. I, I I just was worried. He he's good in this. Traditionally, guys just don't play well after they win a tournament. He just won the Masters and went home to Japan and got like all these awards. Quarantine for two weeks, didn't do anything. Yeah, I, I mean, I guarantee oh, I you though saying. that like okay. Hideki's like a hard worker. I don't think he was like partying and stuff. But um, I'm gonna fade Hideki. This I week. I was on the same boat as you, and then I thought about Justin and about how like shocked he was by Hideki just coming through and I was like how am I going to bet against Hideki Justin's, <laughs> Justin's going to be hype about Hideki alright betting with our hearts See, I, I like kind of like him this week but go on um, Sam Burns over Siwoo Tim uh, it's basically even money uh, we're, we're head to head on that <laughs> no are, are we yeah you picked Siwoo Tim I had, I had to bet Siwoo Tim <laughs> I had to do it Fuck. it was the only match up there and I honestly I genuinely don't like Sam Burns this week only because this is not like data wise, he's playing good golf. Sure. This guy burns people betting wise more than anyone. The weeks he's supposed to be good, he stinks. Yeah, I'm on that the week he's supposed to <laughs> yeah. The week, yeah, we know the week he's list. supposed to stink, he goes off. All right. So I'm just fa- I'm just fading. I stayed away I'm from Sam as well. Off, I, I kinda went against myself with the whole when you win, you stink the day out the time after, but <laughs> it's, it's good. Um, no, there's nothing else to say to that. Actually, just directly went against my own advice there. But <laughs> Sam Burns has been playing good for a while now, and Siwoo Tim, as we know, is a hothead and has stunk <laughs> since he broke his putter at the Masters. Um, I got Thomas Peters, also hothead, over Alex Nor. Me too. Even money, Thomas Peters. Thank you. This is limited. Thomas Peters doesn't play a lot on the PGA Tour. He plays a lot in Europe, so these stats are skewed a little bit. Is gaining. 2.65 strokes, T to green. Yeah, I saw that. Awesome. That is, that is, can I yeah. say it? Fucking crazy. Yeah, he's it is. very good. I just hope he doesn't blow up. Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a legit crazy person, <laughs> which is fine. But he's, you know, no, who knows what's going to happen. No, like par five scoring, though. Like, if you want a guy who's going to get you eagle opportunities, it's Thomas Peters. Okay. Um, He is losing 
over stroke putting. Yes. So but again, I matter. don't believe in putting. <laughs> so. Breaking, breaking news, Tim doesn't I don't believe, believe in putting. In putting. Um, and then my last <sighs> matchup is going to be Johnny Vegas over Camilo Villegas. Oh, I got that too. Yeah, minus 150. Uh, Johnny Vegas' only good attribute or positive attribute in strokes gained is off the tee. Um, he's a bomber. So, he hits he hits it far and he uh hits it pretty straight too. Yeah, like his his I bet him too. And I had down his uh percentages for fairways and greens was pretty good. Yeah, he's gonna have some eagle opportunities as well. Um and I, Camilo was a Camilo made my bet against list. Yeah. I have a he's gonna struggle. I have a genuine question. Did do you did you look into Alex Noren at all? Uh <laughs> or are you just saying <laughs> why? I just want to know why you're fading him, because I kind of thought he no, I'm just betting well. on Thomas. Peters. I bet against Alex Noren last week and it worked out, so I'm keeping it going. Alex okay. Noren's like a borderline uh, tour card guy, right? Yeah, yeah. He's like in the, the last hundreds, eight so rounds, he's gaining 1.2 strokes in the field. In the last 16, he's gaining 0. 0.60. He's not playing bad golf right now. His numbers are high right now, like statistically, but they're on the way down. Yeah, but he can't get off the tee. You don't. It's, I don't think that matters that much. All right. I'm just, no, I just. I was just curious. Are you I on Noren? No, I'm not. Uh, I just. I. I kind of liked him this uh, week. Okay. I couldn't find a way to bet him, but. Okay. I was just I curious. I feel as though Cam's somehow getting a sneak peek at my card and betting against me, and now. It, no, I have no Norn bets. You know? <laughs> I have no insider Are information. Are you playing the fade game? Yeah, on what's me? going I on? Have no man. inside fade information. Tim? I mean, that's tough. That's I'm not doing that. We're right. a family. Here. I was we just don't asking do a question, oh, yeah. man. Yeah. 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 I might bet a, Alex Norn now. Tim? What else you got? Tens and twenties. I mean, I got I got like eight top twenties, so let's go through them. Okay. Cam Champ plus two fifty one unit. Already talked about him. Johnny Vegas half a unit. Plus 335. Already talked about him. One unit on Scotty Scheffler. Love it. Love that. I'm in on that. Scotty Scheffler. Is that that, that's a consensus consensus pick? I mean, great par five score, long and straight. Mm -hmm. His putter's uh, been okay. He struggled a little bit at the Zurich, but team event doesn't count. Traditionally, he needs to start well. If yes. he starts behind on Thursday, Friday, he's not a comeback guy. Exact opposite yeah. of Xander yeah. Shoffley, yeah. who <laughs> seems to struggle every single Thursday. And don't worry, we get to watch it on the PGA Tour Live every week. Yeah. Yeah. Um, half a unit on Will Gordon, plus 750. Ooh. I ran three models. I like Will Gordon. Three is kind of the number in terms of models. I just weight the key statistics in different ways. Mm-hmm. He came up in the top 10 every time. Twice top five. He did in mine too, and I just because I don't know like who he is. Like I was like I can't. I don't know what. I, def- I actually did like him. He's this a week, Still no bets. Yeah, He's yeah. Bomber. I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do half a unit. I like that plus one fifty. Okay. Um, DB and Brooks are both minus one forty five. I have a unit each on them. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think this is a good week for Brooks. He's rested. Uh, I think he's behind that knee surgery. Hopefully. Um, and this is a Brooksy course right here. We gotta see if he's like truly dug in though. Like, yeah, I just don't yeah. know. We'll I see. the week before a major, he could be. I personally stayed away. I, I'm can, I, can I just yeah. say something? Yeah, like I'm not fading you. Yeah, he hates all my bets. It's like <laughs> my very God, hard. no, I don't hate. I'm trying to help you. What did he do? I was looking. They had I'm trying a, to help. I like. I'm helpless. Unbelievable. <laughs> no. no, what do you mean? On. I'm trying to come be on, a, a good co-host. Yeah, no, no. We need, I this, saw, we need this discourse. I saw a stat that showed. Like he's taken a five week break multiple times in his career. Yeah. And he's missed the cut at the next tournament. Every, like every time? Not every time, uh, but almost every time. Prove Jeez. it. Where's uh, the stat? Oh, I gotta find no, it. don't do that. On your but stat. also I but like conversely in my head, I'm like, Brooks gets out of bed for majors. He needs to because he hasn't played, he has to play well this week. Like I he, actually he needs it. Do believe that he will play good yeah. this week. I but for your reason, I stayed away. Yeah, I didn't that's like the only reason I didn't touch it. Because I like him, but I I don't know. Yeah. All right, Tim, anything else? All right, yeah, last guy is, um, hmm. Yeah, I, I just lot. read it. Matt Let's Kuchar. go. <laughs> Plus 190, top 20. Um, Cooch, Cooch. Cooch is just playing solid golf, man. He's playing old man golf. Playing we have himself. turned the tables on this podcast. I'm still not a Cooch. Get out of here with that. I don't I don't like him. Love Cooch. Uh, not, not that I don't like him. <laughs> I should sure. say he's average, and I was like, whatever. I don't have a way to bet him. Um. You know what? I read like an article about like the abuse he got after he didn't tip that caddy. And I sort of was like, oh, this is kind of aggressive. Yeah. I might take it easy on him. Horrible thing. He should have tipped that caddy. Like, were people saying like, like they send him death threats? No. Oh. I mean, he was exaggerating. He's being a big baby about it. That's clear. But like, yeah, I don't know. Okay. I, for, I, for, I might have put it in the past. <laughs> Good. All, All right. right. I like Cooch. I can go next. You can go. 
Uh, so I'll start with my matchups. These are all for a Yoon. And this first one, I will admit it openly to everyone here. This is with my heart. Okay. It's Jordan Spieth over Scotty Scheffler. It's going to be very, very tight because I like them both also top 20. I just couldn't pull the trigger on that. I couldn't like, either. It, just, it was only one Yoon. I'm like, it's something I want. Like, yeah. I just need to root for him, I think, because it's been a couple of weeks and he's playing good golf. He needs our good mojo. Um, another guy that kept coming up in some some metrics that I was running, as well as a guy that I liked also who plays sick on the corn ferry right now, Scott Stallings. Ooh. Bomber. Bomber. Guy was like 300 pounds a couple of years ago, and now he's like a ripped 195. Who did they pair him against? Piercy? Piercy. Yeah. I like and, both those guys. But, Not like this week, but in general. But Piercy freaked out at the end of the round. Yeah, he on did. On Sunday. That was freaked electric. Out. And I think... You don't just get rid of that on national TV no. after one week. Before that, that even got like wide on like the internet, I texted you guys immediately. Yeah. I was shocked. Dude. Yeah. Scott Piercy, though, he's a uh, sponsored by Boston Scott Golf. I just ordered a bunch of your shirts. Thanks. Um, I don't know. Scott Stallings is a, is a great hitter, long hitter. Not exceptionally well around the green or putting, but I don't think that matters. There's not a lot of, there's not even hard, I looked at the course overview and shit. There's not even like hard bunker placements. No, like people aren't going to be stuck, and it's fake. Like they have, like they're playing Ritter. They, they're they, literally they playing are, Strawberry dude. Valley. They said that there's. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think a PGA Tour pro would score? Eighteen. Fifty four. Strawberry Valley. Fifty four. A nine hole course. Oh, oh. It's probably a total of two thousand yards. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. If that, there's a ninety yard On nine? par three with. No, there's no obstructions. I no bet guys nothing. shoot. I bet guys shoot twenty seven. Probably easily. Yeah. Yeah. They can get to every hole in one shot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like it, it, they could shoot like a 22. That's all I'm saying. Like you should a, host the U.S. Open at Strawberry Valley. <laughs> that would be awesome. See how well they got. I also have Johnny Vegas over Camillo that we, like we talked about. Yep. Um, I got my guy. He keeps making me money. Sebastian Munoz over Carlos Ortiz. Also, I don't know what the PJ Tour is. that out. I don't know what the PJ Tour is doing, but every week these guys are paired up against <laughs> each other. Is it because they're, they're Latin American? What's yeah, going on here? Yeah, PGA, we're on to you. Yeah, we are. Um, Munoz's game is also another guy, like, like he said, I ran a couple models too. And also I was doing my kind of like do bet, don't bet. And his game sort of suits this course weirdly, even though he's not particularly good at one thing, he just scores. Yeah. Um, my next one, uh, we talked about already. Peters over Norin won't beat the dead horse there. A guy that I love this week is Harris English over Jason Day. Jay Day, not exceptionally. I mean, he hits, he's, he's more of a short game guy, a guy that putts. A guy that's good with a wedge in his hand. This isn't going to be a course that he needs to be like to have his game from 100 yards in that dialed in. That being said, he needs to get off the tee, Jason Day. Is what I'm saying. He he's been known to really break down and like just completely not hit fairways the whole round. Um, and Harris English is a guy that I liked. Can hit the ball. Yeah. T- thanks for minus 115. Ryan Palmer over Mark Leishman. Ryan Palmer was on the fringe of like being a really good pick this week. Are you against me? No. Oh, um, the only thing, uh, the only thing is I know Mark Leishman's game is also that sort of uh, approachy wedgy around the green guy. Doesn't hit it super long and doesn't hit fairways very often. Not that that matters here, but a guy that Ryan Palmer, who I think has better in every facet. That's why I took it. Minus 120. I also have Sergio over Ricky. Sergio was a guy. Did you see all his stats? Coming into this, you guys peruse Rick. I was fading him this week. You're fading him? Everything was saying that he was going to be playing really well. Am I, do you guys disagree with me? What here? was the tournament at Harbortown? Like a couple weeks ago? Uh, eight, the, um, uh, no, it was Heritage. Heritage. Yeah. I cannot get over the blow up he had. He tried to hit a three wood like 280 yards over some trees, double bogeyed the next hole. He. I can't get over what I saw. That I day. took it down to like his last like twenty something rounds, and he's yeah. doing pretty good. And Ricky can't. Ricky freaking stinks. So thanks. Well, we'll see. My last my last matchup that was minus one forty. That my last matchup here is Willie Z over Matty Fitz. I don't think Matty Fitz necessarily plays outstanding this week. Um, Willie Z is a guy approach guy off the tee guy. Also, I'm I'm just rooting for him to, to play well. I hopefully that his um, marriage or engagement slump isn't real. Um, so that'll do it for my matchups, you guys. I have one prop bet, two-stroke winning margin, plus three twenty-five for half a unit. Everybody's going low, but I think the winner is just one. Is is just two? 
Yeah. Last yeah. week, I every week I'm like, it's gonna be one. It's gonna be one. Last week, of course, I hold off and it's one. Yeah. Ugh. But this week I'm feeling too. Got a feeling. Top tens. I got DB straight vibing plus one fifty. I think he plays. I think he rips this up and he goes pretty low, especially where he was draining long putts the last time he won. And he's a guy that knows his way um, around these Southern golf courses that are long. That means, sorry, that are scorable. I should say Hideki Matsuyama top 10 plus 175. I know you guys are you're down on him. That's okay. I, I'm high on a lot of guys you're down on. So I'm glad I got to go. Second. I think that Hideki's game I know, yeah, Masters hangover, sure. Um, I just think for one unit, guy can make the top 10. On to my top 20s, I got three of them. Jordan, these are all for a unit and a half I'm doing. Jordan, Scotty Scheffler, and Willie Z. Mm. Willie, like Z's, Willie Z's the closest to even there. Um, Jordan, you know, he's he's favored a lot here. We'll see. I, I, I didn't have the stones to do the top 10. Uh, I'm just hopeful for... Uh, top 20 up both of those guys uh, and Willie Z. And I have three outrights. DB, which we already talked about, for uh, 14 to 1 for half a unit. Oh, I got him good, huh? Yeah, you did. I got Harris English at 45 to 1. Okay. Half a unit. And Scotty Scheffler, 18 to 1 for a unit. You can see my trend here. I had guys that I liked. So yeah. I kept the, te- kept the 10, 20, and outrights there. Uh, that'll do it for my card, you guys. I'll jump right into that because I have four outrights because I feel the need to continue this hot streak that I'm on. Uh, the first one is Scotty, who it. I have the most faith in. That's going to be for a unit. His numbers are crazy. Like he He's just like a lesser Brooks when yeah. Brooks is firing. Mm-hmm. He's sixth in birdies, sixth in off the tee, seventh around the green, 35th in opportunities gained, which is um, proximity to the hole. Um 14th in good drives gained, which is fairway and length combined. Second in par four scoring. 24th in par fives. His recent, he's got a seventh, a fifth, and a 29th, and a runner up in the match play in his region. That's he's just, he's hot. And we talked about him burning out. Yeah. Took last week off. You know, getting ready to get he's dialed a Texas in. Texas guy. Texas guy. Yep. He's played, he's played this course when he was on the Corn Ferry Tour, and I know for a fact that his last three rounds were all in the 60s. So I like that too. I tried to find if like Jordan had played here at all, and I couldn't do it. I couldn't find it. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. I He's could, resting like, up for next week, so it's really... No, but like, even just like any guys that I was like high on. Like, there's no record of like when people play. No, it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. hard to find. Yeah. Um, I got John Rahm, plus 700. Really? I, I, He's legit the favorite. I can't isn't take he? anyone yeah. under... I can't do it under like... A thousand. 12 to 1, I think. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. That's your guys' issue. No, but I'm not right now. What what, you, what is it? You think last week's an absolute I fluke? I think last week was a fluke. He off the tee in a um in a uh no. Off the tee around the green and putting, he was fine. Yeah. It was just his approach was off, which it never is. He had like twenty four straight rounds with positive strokes gained approach. The baby's getting to him. I no, I that was a fluke week. I had to I just wanted I the outrights I just had to pick people. I didn't want to do any stretches. I was like, I think people that could actually win. John Rom can actually win here. If yeah. he's actually mad at all about how he played, he could devour this course. Yeah. Which leads into my next outright, which is I'm going back to Bryson. We can bash him all you want. This course, if you can hit it far but and putt really well. Every I know we say it every week, week like, though. This and course is divine for Bryson. Yeah, every course stinks. could be. He's a bum. No, the only reason I think <laughs> That's Corn <laughs> Ferry Tour bound. Bum. <laughs> he can putt. He's a very good putter. That's what I think that this current He does is. the arm lock. He's a loser. Does, does it go in? Yes. You guys bash me. Watch him win. I, know, I, I hope we he can. wins just so I could just sit here, enjoy that tequila. So what, you're a Bryson guy now? Yeah, what? What's going on? Right we now? all made money off of him last week. Yeah, I don't I know. see yeah. the hate. Oh, it was my luck. So shut up. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I'm just, I'm literally just, a, the narrative that it's like, this course, it's made for these long hitters and prices. I he never wins did those it, courses. Did, did I say those exact words? No, but no, everybody but, does. Okay, but I'm just saying. Yeah, but if everybody thing. was jumping off a bridge, Damn would so you jump too? This week, he I is. need him to lose this week. What? Yeah, we can't. No, t- we can't do that. <laughs> no, <laughs> this actually, guy is, no. For no, that's actually, Tim, he's so cocky. Jay, you gotta clip. You gotta clip that for the listeners out there. Siwoo Tim is emerging. 
Oh my Ooh. god. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna- Gonna break his pen. <laughs> all right, uh, my wow. last. Wow, wishing right. harm, wishing a bad week on yeah, another Tim. co-host. No, it's, for the good, the, it's for his good though. Okay. Who's the bad guy here? It's for his. Who's good, the bad though? guy here? Who's the bad guy? I haven't wished. I tried to help his bet. I know. Huh? No, he's this is what I get. Bets. He's like, well, Tim, did you look into the stuff? Like, what? What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> We're a golf podcast. We got to talk about no, all you're angles. Right, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Okay, you're right. I was being, you know, devil's advocate. Get the ready. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys lost that in all the chaos, but my other outright is Mark Leishman. I, uh, you guys can hate it all you want. No, I, no, I love he the guy. Was on my I just, bet list. I just didn't find a bet that I liked. Uh, the only reason it, he he has the ability to go low, he, oh, he's one of the top guys in birdieing and strokes game putting. He's among top ten, and then the guy's a, a wizard with the wedge. Yeah, I think is. that this game is just gonna. I think that you don't have wedge wizard. He is a wedge wizard, dude. I think <laughs> I if like whoever that. puts it closest. And can finish is gonna. Win. It's not. I don't think the big hitters. They have an obvious advantage, but I don't think that. I think this is gonna come down to short game, because it's easy. That's, that's just Br- what I think. That's Bryson's forte, huh? He can putt. I didn't say he was good with the wedges. <laughs> he can putt though. Um. All right, we'll get into my top twenties. Bryson's also never seen a wedge shot that he liked. Every time he hits a wedge shot, it's because oh, he's in the thickest rough. I had the wind at thirteen going left to right. <laughs> Enough. Okay. Uh, a guy you're fading. My first top twenty, Matt Fitzpatrick, minus one forty five. He's no, um, he, that could that could very well happen. He's one of the hottest like players, players in golf. golf. That's fine. Yeah. Um, I got Thomas Peters top twenty. <laughs> this has also. become Cam versus the world. <laughs> it's right before our eyes. <laughs> I didn't see either of your bets. These are just you ever the heard best. Of Icarus Cam guy has a good Icaruses. These guy are the has best a good, that I made. Guy has a few good weeks. And he's a hot shot now. Huh? Flying too close to the sun, young man. <laughs> See, the good thing about this is, is this is going to end up one of two ways. <laughs> That's right. Either you guys are right or I'm right again. I, do, right I don't again. know. I want to be upset. Okay, keep going. All right. Keep going. I got Aaron Wise, top 20, plus 300. Going back to the well, that hit last week. He's in yeah. good form. I'm playing it again. He's a long hitter. Um, Patton Kizire also played well last week. He's kind of like a fringe guy. He either plays really well or he really stinks. I had him on my list of like find a way and I, c- I couldn't find a way. Yeah, I did, I was did looking 20? for matchups, bad matchups. Did a top yeah. 20 plus 350. Why not? Okay. Uh, I got Ryan Palmer. Love it. Top 20 plus 120. He holds the course record at this course, which is pretty sick. That would have been a stat to know. <laughs> yeah, shot a 61. I might have to add him to my top he 20. Shot a, six, my... shot a 61 here before. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, well that's info. I'm adding. I'm adding a maybe even Ryan Palmer He's top ten. He's been holding 10. out on us too. Yeah, he is. Look at this. Sick here, Look at this. This is real sick. disgusting. He comes in all we're a this team, has, and then he's this fucking holding turned. out stats like this. I've helped you. I'm this helping you. This is me and adding Ryan, Ryan Palmer. Palmer. Producer Jack. Ryan pick, Palmer top, top ten. Can you back pick. me up here? Like this, these, they, they sound a little crazy. I'm, I'm giving him help. <laughs> Get that crazy look in your eye. Giving me help. Like what? I saw my son use a bicycle as a weapon. <laughs> uh, can I continue now? Or? Yeah, you can do, do it. Do whatever you want. want this man. is your show. I, I mean, <laughs> this uh, is your show. What was that? What well, I'm with you guys on my next bed. Daniel right. Berger, top Cam 20. Cam in the gang. Yeah. Cool in the gang. Cam in the gang. Huh? <laughs> Celebration. Good, good song. This seems like it's more your problem being part of the gang than it is with me being Cam. Wow. I just, wow. Again, it's on us. It's all right. Again, keep going, man. I just want to hear your bets. This is, I, I, mean, I don't even want to continue. <laughs> I don't even want to continue this. The people yeah, need it, Berger. Kim. The people need it. Yeah, yeah Daniel Berger, minus 145. I guess, to be contrarian here, he must fucking suck. I'm taking him off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I got uh, Scotty, top 20 also. Love it. Yeah. I got, and then I got John Catlin. I've been hearing this top name 20. all over Twitter. Who's so yeah. he, the pa- he's won a tournament each of the past four months in four different countries. He's from America. He mostly plays in the European tour. tour. He, he's playing in European. Yeah, but. I mean, yeah, good, again, but the odds are he's playing great golf right now. Yeah. We don't have the stats. We don't have the European tour stats, but he's won four times in four different countries the past four months, and he's plus 500 to get a top that's 20. A, that's insane. Yeah. That's a pretty good number. I might. Plus, yeah, plus Let's 500. I like, I like the juice on that. Um, and then I got some matchups. Got Aaron Wise over Jason Day. I'm not big on Jason Day this week. Uh, he can't putt, which is news to everyone, but apparently he forgot how to putt. So I'm going Aaron Wise, minus 105 over Jason Day. These are all for a unit. Mm-hmm. I got Mark Leishman over Brooks Kepka plus 125. I'm just not into Brooks as much this week as I am Leishman. I got Ben Martin over Munoz, plus 105. Ben Martin has been gaining more than a stroke on the field Who the past guy? Yeah, I don't know 24 that. rounds. He popped up in a couple of my models, so I just threw that on there. I don't, I'm not 
You like Sebastian Munoz? I don't really know him. Just over Ortiz for the matchup. I don't like yeah. him. Like uh, I don't like Ortiz either because my next one is Gooch over Ortiz. Yeah, yeah. Minus one. Well, that one is a guy who can just catch fire. Yeah. Who? Sebastian Munoz. Yeah. I almost did the Gooch one. Yeah, but... Gooch over Ortiz. I like I like Gooch this week. I got Peters over Jason Day. Plus oh, 105. Wow. You're ripping J-Day. Yeah, just the two. But now I feel like I might want to switch that to uh, your guys of Norin. Peters over Norin. I think that's a more that's a safer bet, I think. Because I guess Jason Day is sort of like a coin flip. He could just all of a sudden be Jason Day he again. A, How he long has played? he been resting? He hasn't played since the Masters. Yeah. Since the Masters? Yeah. What does that make you feel? Uh, like your instant reaction was that like, hmm, that's yeah, good or so, hmm, that's bad. So I, I think like the Jason Day putting issues aren't like Ricky putting issues. Like I think Jay Day's fine. He probably just maybe had a little slump. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that, yeah. Okay. How, long, okay. how long does one of the, like over the last 10 years, probably like a top five putter and like the stay, PGA yeah, how long stay, do you stay that cold? Bad? And yeah, so good right. around the greens. All right. Folks out there, I might switch that to Norman, not Day. But Peters, regardless. Uh, and then I got Peter Uline. Who I love. Petey. He's he making just, some money. Hearing he's him making money all over Twitter this week as well. And he um he went back to the corn ferry last week and just dropped a seventh. So that's <laughs> he's just he's just on fire. And I got him over Ricky Fowler. He was part of my resurrection week and he just didn't oh, yeah. he didn't rise. So I'm just burying him. Sticking him back in the See you, Rick. I'm also on that train. Yeah, you can stay down there. That was plus a hundred for you line. Oh nice. Which I liked. That's great. Um then I got Siwoo Kim over Burns, plus one oh five. I'm just playing the I don't you can't bet. When Bur- if, I just feel like if you think Burns going to be good, he's not. That's just my logic. Okay. No, nothing wrong with that. And that's uh, that's all. Okay. How about Jackets? Tim, lead me off, will you? Sure. Um, Jordan Spieth, top 20, minus 175. I got that too. That's a lovely pick. There's no explanation needed. Probably the best iron player. His strokes gained, to, his strokes like gained approach is the best in the field. Yeah, it's not even Can clear. I ask a question without getting attacked? Maybe. I can't guarantee anything. <laughs> I won't. Okay, I won't. What's up? Ask it home. Go ahead. Is he good after COVID? He's fine. What are you talking about? Do we know how bad he had it? I don't know. I'm just wondering. Um, I would assume if we didn't hear anything, it was fine. All right. Right? If it was bad, he would have yeah, probably not played Yeah, because I do think he has week. a really good chance of winning this week. At the end of the week. day, this is a warm-up week for his title next week. Creating... Uh, <coughs> Sorry? What's up? <laughs> okay. What's up? Check. Yep. Hold on. I can't even think of what I was going to say. That's okay. Next week, what the PJ Championship? Yeah. He's got a cre- uh, wow! Oh my god! Complete the career gl- grands. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> How much of Abe's answers first tequila time. did you drink? Yeah, no, complete. He's the first with rage against Complete you right his career <laughs> grand slam of the majors. He's so pissed at you. He He's can't so pissed at me right now. I can't even think about his one true love, Jordan Spieth. Um, my jacket pick for this week is going to be a Harris English top twenty. That's even money, folks. Mm. And I got. Scotty top twenty, we all have that, right? Yep, that's yeah, a good one. Everyone likes Scotty. Love Scotty. Scotty and you know. guys, th- except for this week, except Scotty, for, does, Scotty know. does know this week. Yeah, yeah. He and does. the jacket picks, you guys are hot. Um, we're making people money every week. So look, if if you're not going to take the full card, or you know, pick one guy's area, you know, the jacket picks are safe. They're pretty safe. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're we're hopping up into double digit units after six shows. I'm hoping we we keep that up a unit up to two units per show. Yeah, no, yeah. safe is a good way to put it. We're not booming, but we're not doing but, bad. But that's what we wanted, a consistent growth every week. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and we're purposely doing it for you guys, three different bets. So yeah. so there's opportunity for that. I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't think we'll ever double up, right? Unless like it was glaringly obvious that something was so valuable. Yeah, something um, completely mispriced. Should yeah. we add a group pick? Like we, I think Ooh. if there are weeks that we... Do not, but it seems that every week we've had a consensus. When we put out the cards, we can make some sort of like a denotation that it's a consensus pick. Yeah. Oh, and can I, can I tell the people about the, the new card? Yeah. We're going to have card graphics. Yeah. Thank you, Microsoft Paint. <laughs> we should eventually, we'll eventually have a guy for that. Yeah. But for now, it's it's Tim. It's yeah. Siwoo Tim on his computer. Tim. Uh, Microsoft Paint wizard. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, no, um, it's fun. But I think that going into the PGA Championship... Maybe we tally each of our individual like win loss tie numbers, and then our what we're up here to date. I, Cam's laughing because he's up like a zillion units. Yeah, no, no I think I thought that was an attack at my no, no. H- horrible week. No, 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 no. I mean, you just wiped it out. And no, I just think it'd be back. good for them to know. Yeah, we can like do that. Weeks. We'll have our individual what everybody's up. Even um, I'll probably even break down like my my own self like matchups versus placements and stuff like that. Yeah. That'd be cool. um, if you're lucky, I'll do that. It's a major. So, you know, next week there'll be props and stuff. 
you know, fun, fun little bets. Yeah. We'll probably do some group bets, things like that. Uh, I'm excited for your breakdown next week of a lovely South Carolina Kiowa. course. I love that state. The island it's like course. Home. So Rory won Kiowa. Go Cox. Uh, what event was it? PJ yeah. Championship. PGA Championship. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gosh. The last time it was there. Did Jordan play in that? No. No, this was Jordan like, was I was looking it. at that leaderboard. Jordan, I'm like, who? Jordan, we were like, what? Uh, 18 at the uh, time. I think he was in is. college. If Jordan wins that tournament, full transparency, I will be in the state of Nevada for the next <laughs> podcast. I will call in. Oh, yeah. I forgot and about I that. I will be there. Yeah, I'm probably going to end up, you know, looking at where my uh, cryptocurrencies are at and putting whatever we're up uh, yeah. on Jordan. Are you in Dogecoin? No. No. I'm in Ethereum, though. Mm. Ethereum is uh, booming. Bo- so, dude, not to get on down a crypto rampage, but I'm in a couple cryptos right now. I've been in and out of the crypto game over the last couple of years. I'm waiting to see them being used in society. That's only, what I need. There's, there's only one. Never there's only one. In cryptocurrency. And I'm sitting here down like, I don't know, 10% in the last three weeks on my <laughs> that being stock said, portfolio. But... Safe moon going to the moon. Okay. All right. Well, I can't. This is how this works, though. Like, people just start talking about a coin, everyone buys it. There's no practical use for Dogecoin. None. No. no. I'm pretty sure Dogecoin is literally like a made up coin. Yeah. That they're just trying to see. I, I I think Dogecoin might be like a social experiment at this point. We're just trying to see. We just created something that's literally worthless, and we're just trying to see how you know what scramble price pod coin. like how valuable scramble coin. Scramble, scramble, pod scramble coin. coin. Let's, let's get you know what. Should we get this back to go? It doesn't take much to get your well, own. Yeah, whatever. No, yeah. only because I looked yeah. up that Rory PJ Championship. Yeah, at Kiowa, he won. He was one with minus thirteen. Second place was minus five. Holy shit! And that's like a Tiger Woods. And third, thing. and third was Keegan. Okay, that's good. Tied third, Ian Poulter. Tied third, Justin Rose. But then everyone else, I don't even know. Steve Stricker, Stricker, I guess. But I I, I don't know who Jamie Donaldson is. Blake Adams, David Lynn, Carl Peterson. Never heard of you. What kind of course is this? Give me like a sneak preview because I I don't actually know. It's like a Lynxy ocean course. Lynxy watery, though. No, like money here. But like Lynx and water, though. Yeah, it's a lot. And and fescue. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a tough course. It's a tough course. Okay. That'll be our, our show for next week, you guys. I don't know if you have any final comments before we wrap this motherfucker up. Team Tim or Team Cam or Team Andy. We'll let you decide. No, I don't want any part of this feud. You no, guys. No, 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 no. There's no feud. You know? It's over now? No. Episode there's seven. Never any feud. What do you mean? We've had, feud? we've had six shows. We enjoy doing this for you guys. Yeah. Um, we got some exciting partnerships in the works that we, we can't quite tell you about yet. Yeah. Um, and our video hopefully coming out in the next few weeks. Um, our little like promo get everybody fired up for the scramble we that should be out live footage, but we're yeah. playing in some tournaments coming tournaments up. are coming up we're gonna be firing on all cylinders with our range finders from pinned golf and fellas i think that'll do it for episode seven this is andy uh for cam tim and jay signing up.